Um, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, I think uh, a lot of marketing has been done about this game, uh, obviously, but um, there's been a lot of campaigns, so you can see that it's a good match. Uh, but that is not my department. My department is about football, and uh, our priority is just to focus on the players, because at the end of the day, uh, this match, we, we're still fighting for three points, so no big difference between this match and uh, the Namungo match in terms of the three points and uh, also in terms of our objective, which is to improve the performance of the players individually and as a group. So we have to respect the opponent and we have to stay focused because we're not playing against a very easy opponent. You look at the anger, they have a lot of quality individuals that can decide the game anytime. Uh, you look at uh, Singida, we also have a lot of individuals that can decide a match. But uh, I, will, I will prefer the players to own the process tomorrow. Uh, but also we just need to make sure that uh, the players focus on the task. They do their job. Uh, the coaching staff has been working well to make sure that we prepare and improve some parts of our game. And uh, we are looking forward to this encounter. And uh, I hope that the players, will, our players, will stick to the game plan. And we are looking forward to this match. Thank you. Any question? Going to the last game, this is Vera uh, in 82. And it was early arrival by the new coach. Other technically, the one who plays with Yanga has been a fully team. When you play with Yanga, you always look at him for result. How do you prepare the team for this game? Yeah, look, every match comes with its own different dynamics. It's a new match completely. Uh, first encounter this season between Singida and Yanga. Um, and both teams come from a win. So I'm sure both teams, the confidence of the players is in the right frame of mind. Um, but then again, we just have to make sure that we focus on the task. We make sure the players focus on the task because the mental demands tomorrow are going to be different. Big stadium, Mokapa, and also lots of supporters. So I just wish and hope uh, that our players can focus on what needs to be done. Our players must focus on the little details, tactical details, because uh, those are the uh, aspects uh, that will make a difference in the game. You know, uh, it will be a game of uh, Mistakes, the team that makes more mistakes maybe might not get a point, but the team that make few mistakes maybe will have a chance to get a positive result. So it's up to the players. Uh, they must focus, they own the game, and uh, I don't want to put them under pressure. And uh, we are looking forward to it, uh, but I believe in our players and the coaching staff. For the past two weeks, we've been working very hard to build the team spirit, to build the harmony in the squad, to bring back the confidence, especially have, coming from that setback of Simba, it was not easy. Namungo, they were working very hard to get three points. It was not easy. Even now, we are not where we want to be in terms of performance, in terms of lock position also. But a league is a marathon, and uh, we are looking forward to get better and better. Yes. Asante. Look, uh, football is a team sport, uh, and um, yes, you are right. Uh, we appreciate the quality of some of the individuals. Uh, Aziz did very well uh, against the uh, Azam, but then uh, they have a lot of individuals. You know, uh, any individual in any particular day can make a difference. But then also, you come into our own group also, you look at our own individuals. I thought we had individuals that uh, did well uh, in the past two matches to make a difference in our match. Uh, I wouldn't really want to mention our individuals because at first, I don't want to put pressure on them. And also, I believe football is a team sport. So, uh, it's about team organization in defense and attack tomorrow. Uh, it's about focusing in our own structure. 
Uh, it's about uh, making sure that we don't give our opponents too much spaces because uh, they are doing well, they've got good individuals. You give them too much spaces, like you mentioned, Aziz, they'll make a difference. Uh, but we expect the same also that they can give us few spaces because I know and I'm confident that some of our players individually, if you give them spaces, uh, they can make something. So hence I'm, I said earlier, uh, my friend, that it's going to be a game of little tactical details. You open spaces too much, then there'll be problems. So we're just hoping that we can be able to manage that. And uh, we're just hoping that the players will be able to manage their emotions and focus on the game plan for the entire 90 minutes. Until yesterday, we, we went to the pitch where you were doing the exercise and I met with the coach. Uh, we conducted an interview, told you that he's going to elect a new philosophy. Do we wish to see a new philosophy? Do you think by this time, Coach Torero arrived, will the player adopt that philosophy? Yeah, look, in football, football, it's about um, a process, you know. So, uh, Mualim Ferreira has been working hard to implement the philosophy, yes. Uh, players are different, some catch very fast, some are taking a little bit of time, but it's fine. Uh, we are working on it every time. Uh, he's a very experienced coach and he's very patient, he understands. The players have responded positively to his work. They enjoy working with him, they love him. They are learning a lot from him. We are all learning a lot from him. So I'm sure with time, you know, uh, we are running after time. Uh, we're hoping that maybe the next FIFA window can give us a few days to continue working with the players uh, so that uh, we can be able to uh, achieve our objectives. Clear way of playing, clear philosophy of playing, players that understand our structure in defense and attack. So, yes, it's a process, working hard on it, uh, doing a lot of video analysis, video work, presentations, field training, feedback to players to understand so we are on the right track. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. <laughs> Wanjaniwangu <laughs> kwa sababu kila mmoja anatamani kuona nini kinachotaka kutokea lakini sisi kama wachezaji tumejipanga na tumejiandaa vizuri kuelekea katika mchezo huu kwa kisha ninafanya vizuri. Uh, ya mimi binafsi kwanza naweza ngasema namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu nilikuwa katika kipindi kigumu kidogo cha injury kwa sasa namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu niko vizuri ila isipokuwa mechi kama hizi mwalimu naye anakuwa na maandalizi yake na anakuwa anajua nani amtumie kwa kipindi hiki na nani ambaye bani. Kwa hiyo mimi kama mika mchezaji kikubwa nikipata nafasi nitafanya kazi yangu kwa wakati wangu. Naamini wenzangu wako vizuri na naamini wanaweza kufanya vizuri. Sasa mm. kuwekea mchezo dhidi ya Young Africans mara nyingi mkutano wa Young Africans unapata ugumu kwa dhiki. Lakini kama mchezaji kuelekea <laughs> Na amini kila mmoja akifanya kazi yake wakati wake basi inshallah Mwenyezi Mungu atajali inawezekana. Ah kikubwa mashabiki wetu kwa pamoja wote sisi tunaomba waendelee kutusupport sisi kama wazaji jukumu letu ni kuapa furaha na sisi tunatambua hizi mechi kwa sasa hivi kila mchezo kwetu si ni muhimu na kila point tunazihitaji kikubwa dua zao support yao 
sisi tutapambana kwa nafasi yetu kuhakikisha napa furaha